Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and in today's video I'm going to be using the center center engraving process to engrave different shapes of coasters. Let's get into it. For those that have never used center center engraving, it's a great way to position your artwork in the center of a product based on a pencil mark or something that you've drawn onto it versus trying to do the outline of the product and figuring out where the center is going to land and doing your artwork measurements based on that. So this is going to be a quick way to get that center center engraving set up. Uh, there's actually tricks to it in the software that make it super easy to do, especially with the new Fusion Edge, as well as the other Epilogue machines. Now, keep in mind that this process is not specific to Epilogue, meaning that center center engraving can be done on other machines. But the process that I'm going to walk through is on the Epilogue machine with the Epilogue software. So as you're going through this, the process may differ for you if you're using a different brand, but the principles are going to stay the same as far as finding your center mark and going from there. So I've already pre-cut some shapes and I've cut a few different ones to show the different examples. So I have an octagon, I have a rounded square, I have a hexagon, a triangle, and a circle. The first step of this process is going to be finding the center of my item that I want to engrave. So first up, let's go through each one of these shapes and find the center. For this process to work, you're going to need a straight edge of some kind and a pencil. So I'm going to start with the triangle just because it's going to be easy. And what I wanna do is actually find the point on one end and you're going to have to measure along the edge here to figure out the length. So on my ruler, I actually have a zero scale in the middle and then it goes out to each side. So I'm going to line this up and then find where that is centered. And I'm going to draw a little mark and then do the same thing on another side. There's a lot of ways to find centers of your objects. This is just one. So I'm gonna mark that. And all you need to do from there is just line up that mark with your opposite point, draw a light line, and then do the same thing from the other point, draw a light line there, and this should give you your center point. So right here is my center point. So I'm going to use this as my reference. From there, I just need to do this for every shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the center for every shape. The circle is going to be a little more difficult. They do have jigs and things for figuring out the center of a circle. Uh, but in this case, I am honestly just going to, and this, may, this probably isn't the most accurate way, so I know that this circle is three inches in diameter. So I'm going to line this up until I have three inch diameter mark. And then I'm going to find the center like that. So it's not the most scientific way. Uh, it's not gonna be 100% accurate, but it's close enough for this test. So I have my center mark there as well. So I'm gonna take a couple minutes and mark these up too. Now that we have the center point marked on each of our objects, we can go ahead and set up all of the artwork for the machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine on so I can send the job over to it, but let's jump into the software and I will show you how to set it up and what you need to do after that. Here I am in Illustrator, so the image that I want to engrave is actually my logo. This size logo is about two inches tall and two inches wide, roughly. With this, it's going to be difficult to fit this on the triangle, so it may overlap the edges of the triangle, which is fine. 
but it'll be a good size for the remaining shapes. So for this process, you can put the design for this anywhere you want to on the screen. It does not matter because the positioning is all going to come on the machine side. So just pick somewhere on the screen, uh, go ahead and hit print. Then make sure you choose the epilogue engraver and the media size to be custom and make sure that your page matches. So it's landscape, your other one's going to be landscape as well and print this over to the dashboard. So in the dashboard, here is what it looks like. So here's my artboard. Here's where my artwork is. For this process to work, I'm actually going to choose a resolution of 500. I'm actually going to make it 80 speed and maybe 15% power. I'm also going to change the dithering to Stucky and the direction to bottom up. So these are my actual engraving options. To set up the center center engraving, you will need to go to the advanced tab up at the top. So underneath of the advanced tab, you'll have the engraved type, the number of copies and the centering point. Underneath of the centering point, make sure you choose center center. And that is it. That's all you need to do. You don't need to put in anything for X, Y offset or anything else. Everything else is going to be done on the machine side. So from here, you can just hit print and make sure it goes over to the machine and we'll take it from there. Now that the job is over at the machine, we can go through the actual setup process and engrave all of these items. I'm actually going to stick all five into the machine at once, just in various positions to show you how this works, because you don't have to do the bed or you don't have to lay out the bed one item at a time. You can put them all in there at once and just set it up for each one as you go. So let's go ahead and throw them in the bed and I will show you how to set it up with the screen. So for this example, I'm just going to lay them in randomly, making sure that my marks are on the side that's facing up. And if you care about the orientation of the logo, you can make sure that your sides are relatively straight. And then the circle one, I'm just going to throw down here. So all of them are in some kind of position. Make sure that you jog the laser head over to these items and focus the machine to that item. So in this case, I'm just going to hit autofocus. So it's all lined up now. Now comes the setup part. So now that these are in the bed, I'm going to go over to the screen and show you what to do. So now that they're in the machine, you need to go to the jog menu, which is this button down here. This will let you move the laser left and right on the laser bed. And you'll notice the centering point area. This will become important here in a second. But now that we're in here, you also want to turn on your red dot pointer, which is this button right in the middle at the bottom. And now what we need to do is we actually need to jog the laser head and the red dot pointer to line up with the marks we made on the item and then set the centering point. Okay, so here is my red dot pointer and my mark and pencil is right about there. So what I'm going to do is jog the laser over until the red dot pointer is sitting on top of my mark. Now that it's sitting on top of the mark, I need to set the center point for this. So on the screen where it says centering point, you're going to tap that button and it will set your centering point for this item. Once you do this, you can actually do the job trace. So click off of the jog button and go ahead and hit the live trace button and you'll see where your engraving will land. You'll see that this is exactly where my engraving will land, which is where I want it to be. So now that this is all set up, I'm going to go ahead and go to the job and hit print and we'll watch it engrave. So here is the first one. Full disclosure, I did engrave it twice just because I didn't get enough contrast the first time. 
I've never actually done the material test on this specific laminate. So I need to change some of my settings. But beyond that, this does show you what the center center engraving process did. So it is in the center of the item. Uh, again, I need a little bit more contrast over here, but that's an easy fix. Next, I'm gonna show you a couple other tricks that you can use while doing this process. So first up, we've already set the center point to here. So really you could take your next object and slide it underneath and use the same exact center point. So that's pretty easy to do. You would just put it underneath of here. I will make sure it lines up. And again, because this is a triangle, the shape might actually extend past the shape. So that part I'm not that concerned about, but I do want to show you this process. So just by moving my object to where that center point was and hitting engrave again, I don't have to interact with the screen at all. All I do is hit go and it should be good to go. Okay, here is the second one engraved the exact same center center location because I didn't change it, I just moved my object to it. So that's probably the biggest tip for this is you can move your objects to a center point that you've already set if you wanna make it easier like that. Another thing I wanna show you is a downfall of the process if you happen to forget to recenter your point. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, currently my center center is set somewhere over here. If I jog the laser head over to here, so if I go back over here and go to the jog menu and move the laser head, so all you really need to do is make sure you push this button here so you can jog the machine and move the laser head over. Okay, now it's in position like you see. If I don't touch anything, if I don't hit that centering point, so if I do not hit this button right here, it's going to default back to where I just was. So even if I've moved the laser head to here, if I do the job trace, you will see that it goes back to where I was before. So if I were to run this job right now, it's going to be where the laser head is going around right now. So once you jog your machine over and you line up your point, so once your point is lined up, make sure you hit this button to reset the centering point. And then once you're happy with it, you can go up to your job by hitting the job dashboard button and then run that job. You will also see over here on the right, you'll also see a few icons. The save icon is a job that is saved to the machine memory. And then the icon that you see here indicates that this is a center center engraving. So if you see this, that's what it, that is going to mean. So now that we're lined up, and our laser head is positioned. Let's go ahead and engrave this one. Now that all of the engraving is done, here are a few of the results. So there's these shapes. So this process is really good for if you pre-cut a lot of standard shapes and they're a lot different and somebody just comes up and takes like one thing and wants that engraved at say a craft show or whatever that might be. Center and center engraving is a great way to do this. Uh, center and center engraving is also really good for mugs if you're working on mugs. And as you can see through the process, it isn't a difficult process to go through. It is actually pretty easy. Uh, the biggest thing in the past I've noticed is that it's not always intuitive as to how it is done, especially since that process is on a second tab where you have to go to the advanced tab to get to it now. Sometimes those things just aren't obvious and they're not intuitive to the user. So it makes it seem like it's a lot more complicated than it is but it is really simple to do. So hopefully this video has been helpful and hopefully you'll be able to use the center center engraving process now as well. 
If you like what you saw, I would appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. And be sure to check out my Instagram at Maker Experiment where I share these things along the way. I want to thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.